In this demo, I'd like to show you a feature of the IK Booster Track. Now, the IK Booster Track becomes active when the dope track is inactive, and in this case, we've got the dope track closed. It's, it's in inactive. So we have the two areas that on the dope track, you'd normally have two buttons, but since we've got the dope track hidden, we've got the two buttons here with the IK Boost menu and, of course, the keyframe mode toggle. And what I'm able to do with the IK Boost track that I can't do with the dope track is I can set, I can uh, place a marker here on the IK Boost track, and then anything, when I click and drag, I can shift the frames from that marker over, and I can also come over here and do the same thing, okay? And the lower little triangle is the location, the origin of the keyframes that I'm shifting, and then the upper triangle is where I'm shifting them to, which can come in handy to be able to see that. It's a very handy feature of the IK Boost Track. And of course, something that you're not seeing is that I'm not just shifting the current item's keyframes, I'm shifting whatever items pertain to the keyframe mode. So in this case, uh, parent is selected. If I wanted to, I could toggle over to all items. And whenever I'm shifting, I'm shifting. See how all the, the controllers get highlighted uh, in the uh, viewport window? That's showing that I'm shifting the keyframes for all those controllers. Even though I, you can only see one item at a time on the timeline, you're able to shift more than one item using the IK Boost Track.